Hi, I'm Clint Goss, and this is a uh, flute cast on the flat five. Take off the sunglasses and return to normal mode. Uh, we have this new note for some people. Um, it's a note that is, um, it really evokes the feeling of the blues. Uh, and it's uh, very easy to play. It's uh, a note that is halfway between this note and this note. And when I say halfway between, in music terms, I mean a half step. Okay, so there's actually two half steps between here and here musically, and we're going to divide that and access that note that's halfway in between. And how do we do that? The easiest way to do that is uh, come from the bottom note. That's using these two notes. I'm now going to split that note, and the easiest way is to just rock your finger. You can practice that. Uh, you can get really good at it by going. It's pretty easy and it's pretty reliable because what I'm doing is I'm putting my finger down at an angle. But if you really want to get the blues feeling, you rock your finger up and give it some vibrato with your finger. Musical term for that is a flatament. Um, and then shake your eyebrows at the same time. Put the sark sunglasses back on and you really get that feeling of the blues. Um, there's, a, um, there's another way to play that note. If you want to play that note um, as a straight fingering, um, it's a fingering that has a, what we call a cross fingering. It's not this straight scale, but we're going to put down another finger. The key to this is you've got to hear the pitch that you want. We're going to find a note between this and this. We've got to find a note kind of halfway in between those two. Whatever sounds best to you. It could be a lot of possible fingerings. It could be this note. It could be this note. Or it could be even be this note. On this flute, it sounds to me like this is the right fingering. So if you want a definite fingering without having to slide your finger, you can uh, use this alternate fingering. This new note, the flat five I'm calling it, um, is also called the devil's note. It's called Devil's Note because it was actually uh, outlawed in the Middle Ages. Uh, it was not allowed to be played because it excited the senses too much. Uh, and um, it's actually part of a number of melodies. If you hear this melody... Sound familiar? Um, Maria? From the 1950s. It's also The Simpsons. The Simpsons is the flat five, the devil's note. And so, uh, so have fun with that. We're actually going to use it in the next flute cast uh, to create the blues scale. So uh, uh, have fun with that and uh, put on the dark sunglasses and really enjoy yourself. Uh, when I did this, by the way, when I first discovered this note, I was down in my basement for months. I was like the coolest guy on a Native American flute in my basement with my headphones on, really having a good time. And you really, wore, I wore it out. And that's kind of uh, the idea. Uh, experience it, get into it, wear it out, use it all the time, and then you'll forget about it and it will just surface back in your music when you want. Now, we've actually already talked about this uh, note in an earlier flute cast on half hulling techniques. In this video, I wanted to specifically focus on this flat five note because we're going to use it next month in the blues scale. So uh, enjoy the flat five.